assembled the Northamptonshire Centre for mending soldiers who've been broken in the war, the men learn that tomorrow always comes to those who have the courage to forget an almost unforgettable yesterday. Fighting Frenchmen are the principal residents, and they come to Finnegan to prepare for their return to civil life. Printing and typesetting are among the many trades taught at the centre. And each man has the job best suited to his health and temperament. Some jobs, like gardening, keep the men out in the open air. As you've guessed, it's the Finnedon form of cookhouse. When the bell goes, the men go, and the chef goes. He goes to great lengths to provide the sort of eats the men prefer. And you can see how the food goes. Yes, that's a second helping. Metal work, moulding and welding attract a good many. They're skilled jobs and much in demand. But an even greater attraction is chemistry and the work of the laboratory. They become absorbed in their experiments and researches, and that's all to the good. There's a way even with a severed hand. It's typical of the spirit of the men who've done their bit, but want to do a big bit more. Weaving is very popular. It's done on hand looms, which hold the worker's attention and interest and leave no room in his mind for unhappy memories. And the proof of the weaving is in the cloth, all their own work. And thus too are they weaving the pattern of their own future, for that tomorrow